Hi, this is Barry Crowder from Dallas, Texas in the USA. This is a presentation for Lesson 5 of the Introduction to Music Production class in Coursera. In this lesson, I'll show you how to set up the default EQ plugin in Reaper to mimic the EQ which is available in a large format mixing console. For this demonstration, I've chosen the Soundcraft GB2 console as a reference. If you zoom into the EQ section, you'll see that it has quite a number of options. It has a what looks like a high pass filter here at 100 Hz and then it's got four bands of EQ, a low frequency, a low mid with adjustable frequency, high mid with adjustable frequency, and a high frequency filter. Looking at the spec sheet it actually tells you what those values are. The high pass filter is set at 100 Hz, high frequency is at 13,000 Hz, high mid sweepable from 550 to 13,000, low mid 800 to 1.9 thousand, and the low frequency is 80 Hz. So we're going to use these values. We're going to go into Reaper and uh, set up the plugin to mimic these values. So here I have a track and I've opened up the default EQ plugin that comes with Reaper. It's called a RIA EQ. And you can see this is the way it looks when it uh, when you first open it up. There's no preset. These are the default values and you'll see that there are already four dots on here and those represent the different bands. Now we found it looking at the, uh, the one we're going to mimic it has five so I'm going to go ahead and add a band it adds it here and I'll just move it over here and we'll, we'll adjust it later so the first one we're going to do I'm going to click on the one tab and I'm going to it's a band pass filter so I'm going to change the type to high pass uh, I'm going to it just happens to be the same frequency 100 Hertz and notice that the gain doesn't really do anything because it's just a filter the bandwidth here, I'm just going to leave it at the default value. If you turn it, turn it too low, it starts looking weird. And if you go too high, it um, it's too gradual. So I'm just going to leave it at its default value. This is the switchable filter. Um, if you can turn it on and off with this enabled button, just like the button on the, on the, on the mixer itself. So now we'll do the low frequency. Uh, looking at the specs, it was set at 80 hertz. So I'll put the frequency here. At 80 uh, and it is of a type low shelf and you can see if we adjust the gain actually I'm going to turn off the, the one if we adjust the gain you can see that it's just a simple shelf for the low mid and high mid these are adjustable frequencies. You can adjust them with a the slider, just like you adjust the knobs on the console. And then the gain would be another, the other knob on the console. The bandwidth they had listed in the specs as 1.5. So I'm going to put that value here. I'm going to do that same for the high mids. Put that at 1.5. And again, you can adjust the frequency here and the, the level here. Oops, that says high shelf. That's a band pass. And then the last filter is a high shelf at 13,000. And again, the gain, the gain affects it the same way as the filter over here for the low frequencies. So in practice, you you would you might turn on the if you had a rumble or uh, an instrument that didn't require low frequency you could just turn on that filter and then you might come in and adjust these mids for whatever works for that uh, and then if you uh, didn't need the high frequency you could just pull the gain down on this uh, high shelf well you can see we pretty quickly set up this login we set it up to match what's available in that console so let's save that so save preset, and we're going to call it GB2. And by saving that as a preset, whenever we come back in, we can just go straight to that preset, and it's got all the settings. Now, just one point on these mids. These actually do have adjustable um, uh, bandwidth here. They have the, the plugin has more adjustments than the console does. It just The console would have to have a ton of knobs to be able to do everything that you can do in the plugin. What we've done is focus on mimicking the features. So anyway, I uh, hope you find that useful to see how you could uh, take the plugin, the default plugin that's available in Reaper, and, and set it up to mimic uh, a, an EQ section that's available in a large format mixing console. Thanks for listening, and I appreciate your feedback.